Hey guys, it's Talking Walls Photography. We are back with a new location. I'm going to give you a bit of history on this one. Uh, it's the former London Free Press. You can see the mailbox over there, London Free Press. Um, it's the former uh, newspaper building in London, Ontario. I found uh, a news article saying that it was going to be shut down. So, next time I was in London to see family, I drove by and uh, I tried the side door and to my amazement, it opened. There was a, a person at the end of the hallway with a flashlight um, going through some items. Uh, he was homeless, so uh, I had some apprehension coming here because I know that there are homeless people staying here. Uh, unfortunately, the day I come here, I, I put off going for two days because it was raining. And then the one day I decide to come, there are cars outside and a sign on the wall that says, uh, danger due to asbestos. So there are workers here. I'm not sure how much of the building I'm going to get to see before I get kicked out. But we're going to try to see as much as we can. building man quite dark there's obviously no electricity right now but we're gonna see how much we can get to before we get kicked out here Ooh, there's a basement a basement and an upstairs as well now there's a whole office section with Oh Jesus, the side door was open too. There's no shortages of way in. Of ways in. I don't see any of the office area. <sighs> that means I have to go back downstairs. I think. Maybe not. Let's see.
expecting to see people any any moment. Okay, we're in the office area. Finally. It's probably just a matter of time before I get caught and get kicked out, but whatever. No risk, no reward, right? So there were uh, there was a recycling van outside, and there were two cars. One had a guy in it having a cigarette, and the other um, there was a guy in it as well. And I just walked right in, just walked right in, right in plain view of them. So maybe they know I'm here. Maybe they don't care. It's a huge building. So I guess I don't have to worry about there being homeless people. I just have to worry about being caught by uh, the scrap recyclers. I didn't expect there to be a whole lot here to see, and there isn't. I had read in the article that it had been pretty much stripped, but it's still a pretty cool explorer. I'd have to say I'm probably the first urbex explorer in here. That's always nice. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. stairs working on the main floor so I suppose once I do my tour up here there's nothing to lose by just going downstairs and if I'm caught I'm caught I've already been upstairs <coughs> this is without a doubt one of the most stressful experiences explorations ever, knowing that there's people here. And then you have to be very, very quiet. Shh. Be very should have come here when during the week but it was raining raining out and it was awfully dark and I knew that I wouldn't be able to get any good uh, daylight 
so I waited until today. Won't tell you what today is, but it's a day of the week where I smell smoke, like someone has been lighting a fire in the cafeteria. The guy I saw downstairs was just rounding up fire extinguishers. I saw him coming because he had a, a light on him. So we've got like a lobby here. And it branches off into different directions. I suppose I could always come back on a day when they're not here. But supposed to get snow and I don't really want to drive back to London in the snow. This is just a maze. Freaking maze. So at one time you can imagine that this building was filled with the sound of telephones ringing and at one point people on typewriters and then that would turn into computers punching out articles for the London Free Press. That's a way in but it's from the courtyard so unless you parachuted in there'd be no way to get to it. Wow, this just keeps going on and on and on. So the door I came in had a sign on it. It said, Danger Asbestos. That sign was not there the day before, so I don't imagine that it's going to be too safe to keep exploring around here. I don't know which friggin' way I came in. go through that fire door but I think what I'm gonna do is backtrack because I want to uh, be able to exit from the same way I came in just so I know my bearings if, if I have to uh, make a discreet exit <clears throat> I think I'm alone on the top floor It's cold. I've got a hat on. My hands are kind of numb. I seem to have lost my way. Oh shit. Where the freak? I get lost sometimes. Okay, so we're going to backtrack. I wish I knew where the hell I came in. <clears throat> if I knew that I was alone, I would just make for the nearest exit, but I want to try and get back to uh, the way I came in. For that reason, I'm being quiet. Okay, so... We came in down here, I think. I know we came in around here. Help me out, guys. Where did we come in? Where the fuck did we come in? I remember walking down this way. 
This is what an explorer is like with, with me. Kind of like... All over the place. Okay, now... I have a sense of comfort. Because I know that we're coming back. The way I came in. On the upside, I don't have to worry about parking because there's other vehicles out there. I was concerned that they might be broken into. The uh, men's mission is right next door. And that's not to stereotype homeless people, but there are a lot of break-ins downtown near the, the mission because these are hard times for people, you know? Okay, so... We're gonna go back downstairs. This is probably the point where I get caught and then I shut the video off. Holy freak, I'm sweating. Well, worst case scenario, I got what I wanted. and see what's down there. Might be flooded. Talk about a high-risk explorer, eh? Okay, so... We are in the basement of the London Free Press. Where many newspapers were cranked out over the years until the internet came and people decided that they wanted their news online and the newspapers became thinner and thinner until they got to the point where a lot of them just stopped publishing and the ones that do continue to publish um, usually there's paywalls, you have to pay for articles, and that's okay, because, you know. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, I see a light right there. Holy frig. Hi. You have to get up, bud. Okay. I'm just shooting some video. I'll head out through. I'll head out through the door. I told you it was going to end that way. That just came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Alright, this is Talking Most Photography saying take care.